What do people do to prepare for the festival? Before New Year's Day, people go shopping for food and drinks, repair the house, or put up decor. Who can join the festival? Lives and connects us with our families and backgrounds. Do you like to cook? Yes, I do. Cooking helps me feel relaxed after long hours of working. Is there any kind of food you don't like? I don't really like fried chicken, which is very high in fat. Do you eat out or cook at home? I usually cook at home. Sometimes when I'm busy, I go out to eat. How often do you cook? Just when I have free time. My mom is often responsible for preparing meals. She's the best cook ever. What's your favorite food? I'm addicted to sushi. I can eat sushi every day. Is it Western or Asian cuisine? It's Asian cuisine. Sushi is derived from Japan. Is it easy to make your favorite food? Yes, I guess. The recipe is quite simple. What ingredients do you need to make that food? I would need rice, eggs, meat, seafood, and vegetables. What do you think about fast food? I don't really like fast food. It's not healthy at all. Would you say that you have a healthy diet? Yes, I would. I prefer eating vitamins, protein, and less fat. What's the most useful household appliance that you have? That's definitely the washing machine. When did you buy it? I bought it two years ago. Actually, my mom gave it to me as a birthday present. Is it expensive? I don't think it costs that much. Is it easy to use? Yes, it's pretty simple. How does it work? Press the desired button, and everything will be done within several minutes. How often do you use it? I wash my clothes twice a week. Will you replace it with a more modern one? No, because it was a present and it's still working well. How does your life change with that household appliance? It makes our life more convenient. We can save time as well. Do you think that household appliances will make people lazier and lazier? Yes, to some extent. With the help of electronic equipment, people tend to forget manual tasks and become lazier. What's your favorite music band? I'm a big fan of One Direction. There are five singers in the band. Is it famous around the world? Yes, it is. The band is well known around the world. Almost all teenagers love them. What's their taste of music? They sing pop music. Their most famous song may be What Makes You Beautiful. Are they good at dancing? Yes, I think so. I fall in love with their every step. Have you ever seen them in real life? Nope. I just watched them on media. I wish I will see them one day. How often do you come to their show? I watch videos almost every day. Listening to their songs helps me chill out. Can you sing their songs? Yes, but only one song. I just keep singing it over and over again every day. Do your friends like them? Of course. We usually watch their performances and discuss it together. Do they have anti-fans? Yes, every famous singer has anti-fans. What's the weather like in your country? Well, there are four seasons. Spring, summer, fall, and winter, which vary considerably in characteristics. What kind of weather do you like? I enjoy hot weather. There are more things to do when it's sunny. I love swimming and sunbathing. What months have the best weather in your country? I believe it depends. For me, the best weather is from June to August when it's warm across the country. Do you like it when it rains? Not at all. I hate raining. How does the weather affect your feelings? I usually have a bad mood when it rains. The rain reminds me of sad memories. How has the weather changed recently? Due to global warming, the weather has become more and more unpredictable. It's boiling hot in summer and freezing cold on winter days. Do you usually watch the weather forecast? No, not very often. What's your favorite season? Why? 
Let's see. I love spring when trees and flowers blossom. What do you like to do when it's windy? When it's windy, I like flying a kite with my friends. That's interesting. Who is your neighbor? My neighbor is a university student. He lives next to my apartment. When did you become neighbors? I first met him when I moved to this apartment two years ago. Is he friendly? Yes, he is. He always smiles when he sees me. How often do you see him? Every day at the gate. Sometimes I invite him to my apartment when I throw a party. Do you have any problems with him? Only once when he sang karaoke too loud, which kept me awake all night. We ended up talking to each other the next day, and he never sang karaoke at midnight from then on. Does he usually help you? Yes, he does. He usually helps me run errands. Would you be sad if he moves to another area? Yes, of course. That will upset me if he leaves. What's the difference between friends and neighbors? I'm not quite sure, but I think the difference may lie in the relationship. A friend can be someone you share your feelings with, while a neighbor can just be someone living next door. What do you need to be a good neighbor? Being respectful is the most important factor in building a good relationship. Do you like visiting natural places? Yes, I do. Being close to nature helps me release stress and worry. What's the most impressive natural scenery you've ever seen? That's the horseshoe of the Colorado River in Arizona. It's such a great scenic place on Earth. When did you see it? I visited the place last summer holiday. Who went with you? I went there with my family. We camped near the place. What's special about it? I'm fond of the great nature there. It's a horseshoe-shaped meander of Colorado River. How has it changed recently? It doesn't change much, actually. What's the next natural scenery you would like to visit? My next destination would be the Maroon Bells in Colorado. I fell in love with mountain ranges and yellow flowers there. What can people get from visiting natural places? People will get closer to Mother Nature. Children have more motivation to discover the world around them. What are some famous natural attractions in your country? There are many, such as Death Valley, Niagara Falls, the Redwoods, and the Grand Canyon, to name a few. What outdoor activity do you participate in? I do many, but my favorite one is jogging. Where do you do it? I go jogging in the park near my place. Who do you do outdoor activities with? I usually go jogging with my family. Who shares the same interests as you? My family, especially my dad. We usually jog together. How often do you take part in outdoor activities? Every morning, except on rainy days. How do you feel after activities? I feel really relaxed and refreshed. What benefits can you get from outdoor activities? It's a good workout method. Jogging is also a good way for me to charge batteries for a long day working. Do you usually play sports outdoors? Yes, I do. I play volleyball and swim outdoors. Why are children less interested in outdoor activities nowadays? Children nowadays prefer high-tech gadgets like computers, iPads, and phones to outdoor activities. What law do you like? I like the traffic law of wearing the helmet when traveling by motorbike. Is that an international law? Yes, people around the world follow this law. When was it issued? I'm not quite sure, but I guess a long time ago. Who told you that law? I learned it at school. Is it easy to follow that law? Yes, it is. It doesn't cause any inconvenience at all. What do you think about that law? The traffic law is so necessary for traffic participants when they're on the road. What benefit can you get from following that law? It may keep me safe from traffic accidents. Why should people obey the law strictly? Following law is a good way to protect themselves as well as others. What can be done to encourage people to follow the law? Obeying law is people's responsibility. If they go against the law, they'll put themselves in trouble. How many kinds of pollution are there? 
There are many types of pollution. Land, water, noise, air, light, thermal pollution. What type of pollution is popular in your country? The most popular one is water pollution, I guess. Have you ever littered? Yes, I have. But when I was taught the lesson of protecting Mother Nature, I quit littering. What can you do to help prevent pollution? Reduce and reuse whatever I can to eliminate the amount of waste is what I can do to prevent pollution. What does the government do to encourage people to protect the environment? They organize some campaigns to raise the awareness of people. Everything should start from education. Are people in your country aware of the environmental issues? Yes, they are. They care about what happens to the environment around them. Is there any law to enforce people to protect the environment? Yes, the environment law states punishments to people doing harm to the environment. Are you comfortable with a traffic jam? Not at all. I feel annoyed. Why does it happen? Because there are too many vehicles on the streets during rush hours, I bet. How often do you sit in a traffic jam? Just every day when I finish office hour and go back home. What time in a day are you usually caught in a traffic jam? In rush hour at 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. How long does it take to escape from the traffic jam? At least half an hour. What do you do while waiting in a long line? I often glance at my watch, actually. Have you ever had any trouble caused by a traffic jam? Yes, just yesterday I was late for an important meeting with my clients. How has the traffic situation changed recently? There are more vehicles, which makes traffic jam more and more serious. What is your favorite TV program? Well, I watch a lot, but the one I like best is How It's Made. Is that an international TV program? Yes, it is. It's available in Canada, Europe, Australia, New Zealand, Southeast Asia, and so on. What is the TV program about? Its name somehow describes the content, which is about the process of making things like lipsticks, balls, candy, toys, chocolate, and so on. How often do you watch that TV program? Almost every day after dinner. Who watches that program with you? My family watches it together. My younger brother can't wait to turn on the TV. What channel is it on? A very common one, Discovery Channel, which focuses on popular science, technology, and history. Why do you like that TV program? I love learning new things, especially about how everything is produced. I would love to run a business about handmade cosmetics. How does that TV program change you? I know more about the world around me. It also supports me in my career path to make my dream come true. Who is its target audience? It particularly aims at families and younger audiences. Would you recommend that TV program to your friends? Yes, of course. They would be crazy about the program, I bet. What is the most impressive building you visited? It's the Petronas Twin Tower in Malaysia. Where is it located? It's located in the capital of Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. How tall is it? They were the tallest buildings in the world from 1998 to 2004. It reaches the height of 451.9 meters. Who was the architect? Cesar Pelli, an Argentine-American architect. Is it well known all over the world? Sure. Tourists can't miss it when visiting Malaysia. Do you have to purchase a ticket in order to visit the tower? Yes, I do. It's sold online. When did you see it? I saw it two years ago. Will you come back there again? Of course. I'm looking forward to seeing you again someday. What kind of electronic media is popular in your country? There are some popular kinds. Radio, TV, and online news. What's your favorite kind? I like online news because I have to work with computers every day. It's easier for me to read online. Why do you like it? Due to its convenience. I love reading anyway. How often do you have access to that kind of electronic media? 
every morning before I start working. What's interesting about it? Instead of watching TV or listening to radio passively, I'd rather read and think about the news. Is it convenient to access that kind of electronic media? Yes, with a computer, smartphone connected to the internet, you can read electronic news anytime and anywhere. Does your family like that electronic media too? No, my dad likes radio, and my mom likes TV. How has mass media changed recently? They're more modern and user-friendly. What is your desired job? Well, my dream changes in accordance to age. Up to now, I would like to be a great English teacher. Is that a demanding job? Yes, I think so, although people suppose that being a teacher is easy and boring. What challenge do you have when doing that job? I have some problems with classroom management. Maybe I have to improve that skill a lot in order to be a good teacher. Is it hard to make your dream come true? Every job needs time and effort, and teacher does as well. Apart from the academic knowledge I was taught in university, I have to learn many other soft skills. Why do you choose that job? I really admired my high school English teacher, and I want to be like her. What requirements and characteristics do you need to do that job? Let's see. You need to be patient, thoughtful, and sympathetic. Does the job have something to do with your major at university? Sure. I studied English linguistics and literature, majored in English teaching. The major does support me a lot in my career path. What does the society think about your job? I'm not quite sure, but I'm proud to be a teacher, an honor job. Do you make much money with that job? Not at all. Teacher's one of the lowest paying jobs in my country. Have you ever thought of leaving your job? I haven't thought of that before, but I believe in what I'm doing right now. What is the most impressive competition you've entered? I took part in an eloquence competition organized by my university last year. What was it about? The competition was to find out the best public speaker in the university. Were there many participants in the competition? Yes, there were around 500 participants totally. What prize did you get? Well, I didn't get a very high prize, but it didn't matter. I was still happy with the results. What could you learn from the competition? I learned the way to develop ideas for a speech besides some body language tips in public speaking. Did you have to prepare a lot for the competition? Yes, I did. I read various materials about eloquence, as well as rehearsed a lot. How did you know about the competition? The competition was informed in the school poster. Did you do your best then? Yes, I think so. After the competition, I know I have to try more. Is the competition useful in your opinion? Sure. It helps students learn soft skills as well as become more confident in life. Is there any garden that you like? Yes, I love the strawberry garden in my neighborhood. Where is it? It's in the Highland area where I live. When did you first see it? I accidentally saw it when I had a picnic in the Highland. What were planted in the garden? Strawberries, of course. There are also some boxes of cucumbers next to the strawberry beds. Why do you like the garden? I love picking red strawberries. The garden brings me closer to nature as well. What is special about the garden? The strawberries there are organic. How do people do the gardening? Keeping the beds mulched is important since it helps reduce water needs. How often do you visit the garden? Just when I have leisure time since I'm quite busy. Is there any relation between the green garden and your mood? Yes, at least for me. The green will help me chill out. Do you want to be a gardener? Honestly, no. I'm not used to manual work. Where is your hometown? My hometown is the coastal state of U.S. Is it the city or the countryside? I live in a suburb area. What's it known for? It's famous for tobaccos. What do people do there? Agriculture is the main industry in my hometown. Most of the people here plant and sell tobaccos. How is the atmosphere there? Well, it's quite peaceful. I enjoy the fresh air here. How are people there? 
They're friendly and hospitable. Would you like to live in your hometown or somewhere else? Yes, I would. I just wish I could live here forever. Is it easy to find a job there? Manual work is easy to find. I'm not sure about the white collar jobs. Is it a good environment for young people? I don't think so. The pace of life here is quite slow. If they want to work in a dynamic environment, they'd better move to the city.